Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm Charlotte Dobre and today's topic of discussion is, can we really trust our eyes? Let me expand on that. Our perception of the world is strongly linked to what we can see before us. We believe what our senses tell us, but most of all, we trust our eyes. But things can get lost in translation from your eyes to your brain. So then. How do we know if we can really trust our eyes? If what you see with your eyes might not be enough to fully perceive something. When you're looking at something, you're really looking at its light. After an image hits the retina, the light is converted into electrical signals, and your brain turns that into an image. When you look at an optical illusion, your brain is actually going haywire. Optical illusions play on color, patterns, contrast, light, shapes, and perspective. Basically, your eyes dart from side to side and they take in visuals, and your brain gives those visuals context. But occasionally, your eyes send confusing visuals, and when your brain is trying to read them, it misinterprets them, and then we see things that are not there. Which is why, when you look at this spiral, it appears that the spiral is moving, but it's not. Patterns often confuse the brain. When your brain looks at a pattern and something about that pattern becomes irregular, your brain doesn't like it. So when you look at an image of checkers like this, your brain sees the checkers, but the circle within the checkers makes your brain jump to conclusions. Optical illusions are by no means a new thing. Humans have been obsessed with them for thousands of years. The Romans made 3D mosaics and used them as decor in their homes. The Greeks were a huge fan of perspective. They used perspective when building pantheons. Paleolithic carvings, sometimes when you look hard enough, can turn into two animals. This photo here is an example of one of the world's oldest optical illusions. If you look hard enough, you can see both a mammoth and a bull. Another commonly known optical illusion results in seeing colors and shades that aren't really there. For example, when you look at these two circles, they appear to be different colors, but they're the exact same. It's just the rectangles surrounding them that's making your brain think they are different colors. There's a name for this process. It's called lateral inhibition. Optical illusions are not just a human invention. We see optical illusions in nature as well. Animals use camouflage to create an optical illusion so they can stalk prey or hide from predators. The way brains process what they see is necessary for survival. The way humans process what we see is a clear indication of how our brains have evolved over time. Because we take in so much visual information, our brains need to take shortcuts to process it efficiently. This helped early humans survive encounters with fast predators. So why does our brain sometimes turn the things we see into something else? According to Stuart Anstis, an expert on visual perception from the University of California, it comes down to something called persistence of vision. Basically, the way human eyes have evolved is kind of like a long exposure. A long exposure is a camera trick where you set the shutter to stay open for longer. The result is light and movement trails. Our eyes are similar. They take in a lot of light and they are very sensitive, but they are slow to respond to new information. It takes about a tenth of a second to process an image, but if that image is an optical illusion, it can take longer. Interestingly, even though optical illusions have been around for thousands of years, scientists don't really understand them. There are many complex complex neurological and biological factors taking place when you're looking at one. Our brains judge color and brightness in context to perceive the world around us. Our eyes interpret what we see as efficiently as possible, but that doesn't mean our eyes provide us with an absolute color or physical property of our external reality. Basically, perception is relative. Our eyes and how we perceive things is also influenced by how much sleep you've had, how much coffee you've had, and even what mood you're in. All of these factors can affect your perception. So then, to answer the question, can we really trust our eyes? No, you can't, not always. It is clear from the evidence presented in this video that our eyes do not fully perceive what's around us accurately, but in day to day life, you can. The world is not one giant optical illusion, and humans don't really need to be able to see fast predators anymore. But optical illusions remind us that we must be wary and that perception is always subjective. I'm Charlotte Dobre for Life's Biggest Questions. Don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe to our channel.